Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Maka and Czech here on Scrap Station. We have Czech spawning as the blue Zerg over here at the 12 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Maka spawning over here as the red Terran. So, once again, this is Terran versus Zerg here on Scrap Station. I believe this is a five game series. I don't want to spoil any of the games, but this is going to be game three in this series. So, Maka just pretty much opening with a, up with a pretty standard build so far. Meanwhile, Czech and opening up with a standard build, not doing any of the extractor trick. Well, we'll see if he's going to go for an extractor trick or not, or if he's going to try to produce an overlord. It may be an overlord production. We'll see whether he, when he gets to 100 minerals. Yeah, going to go ahead and produce an overlord. So not doing any sort of extractor trick. And Maka also opening up with a standard supply depot as well. So a uh, standard 10 supply depot, most likely going to be going for some sort of 12 racks. And this game is now underway. Overlord's going to be flying overhead, should get a decent sight of the map. We'll be able to find what exactly Czech is doing. So Maka's Overlord now flying on in to get decent sight over here on this map. Now sitting on 12, and now comes that barracks. So um, 12 barracks is in fact um, being built. If you guys are wondering what the 12 stands for, it depends on how much supply is on the top right hand corner for the race. Check on the other hand, going off for a 14 or 15 hatchery. So that hatchery now going to be placed down and going to be uh, most likely used to try to get a stronger economic advantage even before the spawning pool. The drone was taken off just a little bit earlier than it needed to be, and finally that hatchery is being morphed in. So that that drone gets to grub to be a hatchery and start harvesting minerals. Back over here, the barracks is nearly completed and Maka will be able to get up to, up to 15 food and then perhaps start building the, um, or upgrading to an orbital command and may train up a, a marine to try to shoo away that overlord. Yeah, out comes this marine. Overlord most likely going to try to position itself off over here outside the range of a marine. The marine only, the marine only has a range of 5. But that Overlord still wants to keep track of anything on the front door, try to do as much scouting as possible. Out comes this Marine. Marine trying to do a little bit of move and attack, but that Overlord should be fine, will not get taken down, and now out comes this SCV. SCV doing some scouting. Um, is he going to go ahead and head up that ramp first? Yeah, he's going to go ahead and head up that ramp first. Going to spot that there is in fact a late spawning pool. So that spawning pool just now being finished morphing in. So he's going to go ahead and check if there is a if there is a hatchery down here. And out comes a drone. So the drone may try to do a little bit of attack. No, no attack. And now we finally have a uh, some Zerglings, an extractor, and a, a, that hatchery nearly completed. So there it is. Second hatchery now up. And now check will be able to get a strong economic advantage. And factory now being placed down by Maka Prime. So Maka and also laying down a tech lab. So he may be trying to go for some sort of infernal pre-igniter um, build um, off of this factory in order to in order to get some hellions. But I'm not sure what exactly this tech lab is for. We'll have to just wait and see. SCV down here, keeping track of sight, not really um, in revealing too much of the map or any crucial parts of the map. Just revealing this high yield mineral location over here as two Zerglings are going to be trying to run on up. Now this front door is not, well actually it is just sealed just perfectly right now with the placing of this supply depot. So one supply depot now going to go ahead and finish that off or finish off this wall and should be raised back up in a moment and those Zerglings will not be able to move on in that easily. One Marine should be able to move over and then take down these units. Hellion now being trained up as well. Marine coming over to, to shoo away those Zerglings hiding safely behind this tech lab and this supply depot, Zerglings now moving away. Back, taking a look at the harvester count, harvester count, 22 harvesters for Czech and only 20 harvesters for Maka, but Maka has that mule. So that mule mining a little bit more quickly and now in comes an overlord. So Czech sacrificing this overlord essentially to see if there is any sort of command center or what exactly the, um, the tech buildings are. Will he be able to spot this third barracks? And that is the key. And he does in fact spot this third barracks. So, so Czech should start creating some additional units. His army um, his army really needs to macro up significantly. Perhaps we'll even see a roach warren in order to try to fend off all of the uh, marines and the marines and the hellions that are going to be coming in. No, it's going to be um, spine crawlers instead. So one spine crawler coming into play. Perhaps a second spine crawler um, being placed over here or even here. And it, it sounds like yeah, there's one hellion. A hellion now coming in trying to take down some of these drones. A hellion does not have any kills so far. Able to get two hits there. And now trying to take down some of these Zerglings, now heading up this ramp. Maybe we'll be able to get those two Zerglings. Very, very nice 
micro there, lining up those two Zergens to get some splash damage down. And now the Hellion coming back down in order to get some more splash damage onto those uh, drones. Two of those drones very low, two drones getting taken down, so that Hellion with four kills already worth its weight in minerals as it's trying to um, scurry away but it takes a spine crawler right there but check doing a good job of putting an extractor down in order um, in order to um, save that one drone and now morphing it into a spine crawler instead so there's gonna be three spine crawlers as maka going into a into a three racks build but he does not but um, check does not know about this starport with a reactor and it looks as though it's going to be a marine and medevac um, marauder drop. So, using this, uh, because of the distance between these two locations is so small, he should be able to drop into the back of the base. And with only, dr with only, well, uh, finally a roach worm being placed in, in, in position, and now a spire coming in, um, those marines should be able to fairly easily destroy um, a lot of drones. We already have stim pack research, combat shields finally being, um, being upgraded now with two yeah dropships already underway sitting at 42 time and um, already um, already about 31 over 42 so in about 10 10 units of time or five seconds or seven seconds from now those dropships will be done and we are going to have a significant size drop in the main base of Ma of check so maka going to be able to come in fairly easily bailing nest now coming into play as well will these dropships make a move no they're not making a move just quite yet and it's buying too much time it's buying really too much time for all of these overlords to get set up and get in position. If those banelings start to warp in, or start banelings has completed, those zerglings can easily morph into banelings and those banelings will be a, a simple destruction for those units. Orbital command center down over here as those zerglings now making their way quickly towards that orbital command and towards their orbital command and take, gonna go ahead and take down all of those mules. Orbital Command should lift off, and there we go, Zerglings unable to attack the air, as now we have this dropship moving in. So dropship moving in, and now all of these Marauders and Marines coming in, trying to take down some key tech. Are they going to take down the Spire first? Yeah, Spire being targeted. We already have seven Mutalists being trained up, but that Spire will in fact go down, moving away, trying to take down those Broodlings as they're coming in, and now taking out another key tech, the Roach Warren. So those, that Roach Warren now going to get taken down, trying to move away, and also going to take down the Spawning Pool. So check gonna lose three out of his four tech buildings and only having a bailing nest and that bailing nest it doesn't really mean anything at all because he doesn't have the ability to create zerglings in order to morph into banelings middle is now quickly coming in trying to take down the medevac medevac's gonna start dropping that cargo fighting back against those middle metal middle is being forced to push back and one medevac down to 14 hit points that medevac definitely needs to be repaired as those marines staying close by marines the the weapons upgrade nearing completion most likely yeah gonna go ahead and complete so those marines are now one zero upgraded as more units coming back down over here the army of maka sitting at 2200 minerals while wow, check is sitting at 1200 and check realizing that he needs to do something and bold takes a third expansion or a, a, a third base so the a second expansion already be brought into play he does have a, a 36 harvester so a slight slight harvester um, bonus but that's about this income these mutilists mutilists now trying to um, deal some damage marines trying to stick close by perhaps trying to take down this clump of mutilists there are currently six mutilists in here and i do not see a thor being trained up as a spire is currently being rebuilt along with that spawning pool stay tuned for part two of this replay between check and maka here on scrap station